I'm Marguerite Smith. I'm one of the co-bid chairs for 2029. My other co-chair is Brian Nisbet, whom I believe many of you also know. So we are still on track for a formal launch at Glasgow 2024, which means I was not just trolling Esther, I was trolling myself because it's 250 days until the launch of the bid. However, we are obviously taking a, quite a number of steps in advance of that. So Brian and I have been speaking to various venues. The two that we are predominantly contracting with at the moment or are in discussions with, let me be precise, are the CCD, which is where the one of the venues where the 2019 Worldcon was held, but also the National College of Ireland, which is 400 meters door to door from the CCD to the NCI. And there is at least one hotel directly between the two, which means it is 200 meters step-free access, uh, which is approximately, I did the conversion earlier, I think it's an eighth of a mile. Uh, again, not ideal. We would love to have an attached convention center with hotel, but it's just not a thing that exists in Ireland. Um, so what we are telling people at the moment is, suggesting perhaps that the first weekend in August in 2029 might be a good one to keep free. It happens to be the bank holiday weekend in Ireland and uh, there might be another event happening, you never know. We are still building out the team and of course are always looking for expressions of interest. So many of you should expect taps on the shoulder, but obviously if you want to preempt that, please do get in touch with us. Our email address is in the questionnaire that we sent in. And in perfect timing, James Shields got our mailing list set up on our website approximately 20 minutes ago. So we have that up and ready to go at dublin2029.ie. Uh, so we are also planning a site visit for early Q1, or sorry, I should say for Q1 next year. Uh, for those who happen to be in the area, it is something that we spoke about at Octacon, the Irish National Science Fiction Convention, which is sort of our home community, and many of our volunteers will be coming from there as well. So we will be putting out information on our mailing list, on our social media, uh, to preempt that question. We are currently on Twitter, but we'll be moving away from it uh, and are likely to add Facebook uh, Mastodon and or Blue Sky, and of course the mailing list itself. All right. Uh, we know this is a little bit far off, but some people have heard about uh, problems with uh, space at the convention, like queuing up and uh, so forth. So uh, are you planning to have more space than the last Dublin convention? So we are looking at slightly more space or space configured in a different way. Obviously, the CCD itself will not have changed uh, as a building, but we are looking at different ways of using it. That's also why we are talking to the National College of Ireland to be able to offer those additional spaces nearby, not as far as the point was. Uh, so that we can try to spread things out. Some of the other things that we are looking at are you know, talking to the CCD and putting into the contract that we can't have, it does not work for us to have some of the same queuing regulations that they put into place uh, that force us to essentially ask people to queue. Uh, so we will have a number of discussions along the way. All right. Are you taking pre-supports? <laughs> no. No. It, it, actually, yes, our website, as it is part of that update 20 minutes ago, we did get the code in. Now, it does oh. mean uh, we haven't, uh, you, you can all rush now and try to be the very first pre-supporter officially. Um, obviously, we, we did get a few 20 euro notes uh, very shortly after the 2019 bid. So there are a few people already on the list, but uh, we do have... Is it not working? Okay, thank you for letting me know. I wasn't sure. I had difficulties with uh, midnight, well, 2 a.m. website okay. updates. I'll talk to James about the support code. All right. Um, thank you. Get some sleep. <laughs> Thanks very much.